today is pickup day for the Jordan 5 Orioles, aka Moonlights. You guys, they came out today, and I had some good luck on the sneakers app. If you guys are following me on IG, you guys would already know that I hit on a pair. So I did hit on a size 12 on sneakers, and then you guys, I hit a size 13 off of Hibbit Sports. You guys, I've been telling you all about Hibbit Sports. I have a video about it, how to cop. You guys, it's super easy. I'm here to help you guys out. I get all kinds of shoes for retail. I wanna help you guys out. You guys, if I wanted to, I could just keep all that information for myself and keep hitting on Hibbit, but I'm just trying to share the wealth. So you guys check that video out. It's pretty simple to hit on, on Hibbit nowadays. Okay, so I did wanna talk about uh, sneakers real quick. And you guys, I don't know if you remember, but they did like a little survey on the sneakers app. I wanna say like a month ago or so because the Moonlights got pushed back, I wanna say two weeks or so. So they did it probably like two weeks before that. So I wanna say it's a month ago. And they asked everybody on the sneakers app if they wanted a regular 10 minute draw that they've been doing or that first come first serve, which is like pretty much two minutes. They give you two minutes to put in. And then after the two minutes, they start selecting winners most of the majority at least when i clicked on it people wanted that first come first serve two minutes right it doesn't say two minutes but that's how much time they give us so that first come first serve right so it was like i want to say it was in the 80 percentiles that everybody wanted the two minutes so sneakers said hey you the people spoke and this is what you guys want and we're gonna give it to you guys i really didn't even notice like usually it's a draw so i just assumed it was a draw I went in there. Well, at first I went into Hibbits. I copped off the Hibbits. It takes, it's super fast, you guys. I was like, I copped in less than 10 seconds on Hibbit. Then I went to sneakers. And then I was like, I put in for that size 12. And then uh, without even realizing there was no draw. So I was like, cool. And then so I didn't go for JD Sports finish line or none of that good stuff because I'm already picking up at FLX. And then I already hit Hibbit. So I was like, no need to go for JD Sports or finish line. Okay, so that's where we're going right now. We're about to go pick up, and I only put in for my size, size 11, and a four foot locker. I did put in for champs, but you guys, I've been telling you about champs. For whatever reason, they haven't been picking your boy. Like yesterday, I went to pick up the pandas. You guys check that video if you haven't already, but like I picked up the panda restocks, and champs was the only one that looked out for your boy. Uh, Foot Locker, I got all L's on Foot Locker, so I was very happy about champs yesterday, but it's back to the old, you know, the same old, same old, where they just keep giving me L's, not even being waitlisted. So I don't even think champs is getting a full stock. They're probably getting a little bit of stock. Who even knows? But uh, yeah, right now we're going to Foot Locker. So we're gonna check out Foot Locker. And it looks like it's about to rain and this is a outdoor mall. So hopefully it does not rain on me. And then if you guys did watch that video yesterday, you guys know that I was looking for the Jordan 1 High prototypes. If I found one yesterday, I was gonna pick it up. So uh, yesterday I had no luck with them, but today we're going to Fashion Valley. So they have Nike and they have Foot Locker. And if anywhere in San Diego is gonna have the first come first serve for the prototypes, I wanna say it's gonna be Nike. So we're gonna hit up Nike and we're here early. We're gonna get there before the mall even opens up. I have my umbrella just in case it's raining on me. And uh, we're gonna see if they have them there or not. Um, and then we're gonna go to Foot Locker and pick up. Last time I went to Nike, you guys, they had the, they had the, man, I keep forgetting what they're called. I think they're called the Jordan 6 Bordos. I think they're called Bordos. Uh, they had them there, so I did scoop up in my size. And they also had the Obsidian 13s on release day. So I was like, I'm cool with those because I already picked up my size and I picked up a uh, size 12 and a size 13. I still say they're gonna be great holds. They're, uh, I did see them at most of the stores I went to yesterday, but they probably don't have a full size run. They probably don't have the bigger sizes. Maybe they have like the medium size, size nine, I don't know, somewhere around there. But uh, I'm still gonna hold those, you guys. And uh, so let's go get it. Guys, we are here bright and early. It looks like we are here 15 minutes before the store opens up. So first we're gonna go to Nike, then we're gonna go to Foot uh, Locker. I almost said Foot Action for some reason. We don't have a Foot Action here in San Diego. So we're gonna go to Foot Locker. 
after Nike and I did want to share with you guys a little tip like you guys want to know how to like network and stuff like that and kind of get in good with the employees and one thing I did last time was I went to Nike and I found those uh, Jordan 6 Bordeaux and uh, I also found the Obsidian 13s on the day that they released well not the 6s but the Obsidian 13s when they released and so what happens is I bought the Bordeaux I went downstairs to Foot Locker and then I let the employees know like I let the main guy know and I'm like, hey, bro, they got these upstairs and they're first come, first serve. He's like, no way. I'm like, yeah. And then he let everybody know on his little, uh, they, you know, they have the microphone. So they let everybody know. And then, so now it's like, you know, every time I see him, I talk to him, I'm cool with them. And it's just like you hooking them up. Next time you go in there, guess what? If they got something extra, they might hook you up. So just kind of give you guys little tips. And I've done that before on different shoes. But uh, I just want to let you guys know, like, if you guys are having a hard time, like, going in there and talking to the employees, I don't have a hard time. Like, I don't even have to do that. Like, I'm a talker, as you guys could know. As you guys know, like, I could jump on here and just talk your ear off. But I'm just saying I know a lot of people don't like talking to employees. Don't even like talking to people. But you got to open up. And then that way you get hooked up every now and again. Do some networking. So uh, let's check out Nike first. Hopefully there's no, well, if there's a line, maybe that means that's a good thing. It means uh, something, they got some good. So let's see. All right, you guys, uh, change of plans. I just went by Nike and it's closed. It's still not open yet, but I've seen Foot Locker has a line outside. So I don't know what that line is, but I'm gonna go wait in it. I'm gonna ask some people, see what's going on. But we're gonna go to Foot Locker, a little change of plans, and then we'll go to Nike, see what they got. But uh, hopefully they're doing something good. Well, I'll ask around and see what they're doing. But if they're doing something good, I'll stick around at Foot Locker and then uh, hopefully get some good. We'll see. you guys i got my pair right here the moonlight size 11 and so like everybody was pretty much waiting in line in hopes that they were going to give uh the dunks like whatever was left over but i talked to uh one of my buddies in there and he said that it's probably going to go back on the app and they cannot release the extra pairs so i don't know if you know you just be saying that and then they'll release them later on or maybe in a couple days but I do think they're gonna go back on the app because they keep going back on the app. They keep, it's just like a restock after restock after restock. So I do believe they're gonna go back on the app. So just look out for like another day, another good day like that where they have a bunch of dunks. So I do wanna show you guys what these look like, but first I wanna go to Nike just to make sure I'm not like leaving anything behind up at Nike and then, uh, and then we'll go from there. So Nike really didn't have anything. There was a line on the inside and I asked what was going on and they said that people were picking up the sneakers pass from yesterday. So yesterday I was actually getting ready and I didn't get to see the sneakers pass so I didn't put in for it. But I did want to mention that on the sneaker passes now, they actually show the location and they've been doing that the past three sneaker passes, I believe. So you scroll all the way down, to, you click on the shoe, scroll all the way down, and then it's gonna say actual location. If it says Fashion Valley, I'm good to go. If it doesn't, I'm not good to go. So um, that I, I do appreciate that. Nike, if you guys are watching, probably not, but if you guys are watching, I do appreciate that. Okay, so now let's get into the shoe. You guys, we got my size 11 right here. This is the box, so it is the box black box and it has the white Jumpman right here. I do like that touch and of course it has that uh, Oreo looking uh, design down here. Okay so it does not come with extra laces and I just checked out the shoe and you guys it's looking sick. I do like it. It's black and white like I don't think you could go too wrong with a black and white shoe. It does have that suede. It just uh I mean it looks so clean. You have that icy bottom right here. Icy bottom. We got the Jumpman. We have the clear uh, pull tab for the not the pull tab but the lace tab and uh you guys i'm liking it we do have that the mesh net right here on both sides we have the air jordan on the inside i haven't checked out the sole yet it's the all black sole with the jump man right there 
And you guys, these are looking pretty sick. I do, I mean, I think they were readily available because I was able to pick up, you know, online. I was able to pick up at least one in the store. I do have something going on today, so I didn't get all crazy with it. So I just put in for something local. I'm not gonna be doing any driving today. I'm just gonna be picking up this one pair right here, which is probably gonna be personal. And uh, you guys, I like picking up size 11. I like keeping it on ice and just seeing how it does or, you know, if it does good, I contemplate throwing it on the toe or not. All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed coming with me. Of course, if you guys have any questions, comment about box below, like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll check you guys out in the next video.